Good morning and very quick video this morning I want to look at network transfer on the Xbox One. Now what network transfer is is the ability to transfer games and apps from one Xbox on your network to another Xbox on your network and there's a very good reason for this and I'll let Microsoft say it for themselves. This is what they have to say. Network transfer lets one Xbox console copy games and apps from another Xbox console so long as they're on the same home network. Copying this way can be faster than downloading another copy of the same game or app. If you have a metered internet connection, this can also save you money. Any Xbox One, original Xbox One, Xbox One S and Xbox One X can be either the source or the destination console. What that means in effect is that if you've got more than one console on your network, as I've said already, you can transfer games from one to the other. And that's really useful for me because I've got a console downstairs and my boy's got a console upstairs. And sometimes there are games that he wants to play that I've got down here that he hasn't got upstairs. And all I do is I set it up to transfer from one to the other. And as Microsoft themselves have said, it is a lot faster. So how do you set it up? Well that's fairly straightforward and what I'll do is I'll show you how to set up on one console and then I'll go up to the other console and I'll show you how to transfer those games across. So first things first, set up your first console and what you would do is you hit the Xbox button on your controller and then you go up and along to the right for settings and then down to settings and select that. And then if you look on network there, you go across and you've got network settings and network transfer. And that's what you want. You want network transfer. So if you press on the A button on your controller and if you look here, it tells you all about it. It says this will allow other Xbox consoles on your network to copy games and apps from this, this console. Network transfer is automatically stopped when you're playing a game, obviously, because you don't want to compromise your bandwidth. If you look here though, I've already got it ticked. That's what you want, you want it ticked. And once it's ticked, this console should now show up in the listings on your other console. So let's just stop there, cut, go upstairs and start with the other console. Right, and we're back. And the first thing you'll notice is that I'm now on my son's console. So we're upstairs. And what you want to do is you want to do exactly the same as you did on the original Xbox. So if you press the guide button and you go into settings, or I should say Xbox button, go into settings and then from settings you go down to network and across you've got network settings and network transfer. So we go into network transfer and the first thing you'll see in the middle there is Xbox One. Now that's the console that I've got downstairs, but we'll get to that in a minute. First things first. If you want to be able to make it so that you can transfer games and apps from this console to the one downstairs, then you would need to check this checkbox exactly the same way as you did for the one downstairs. So if we went back downstairs again now, you would see this console, my son's console, would show up in the listings downstairs just as mine is showing up here. So once you've got that done, you can go into this Xbox, which is my one downstairs, and it will populate this with a list of all the games that are on that console. Eventually, there you go. So now what you've got is a choice now. You can do select all. And if you do select all, it will copy all the games and apps that are listed here from the downstairs console to the second console, this one I've got upstairs. If you are gonna do that though, Bear in mind that if you've got a lot of stuff, it's going to take a while. But the other thing as well is if your second console has got less capacity or a smaller hard drive, then that's going to cause you problems. Obviously, you're not going to be able to transfer a bigger amount of data to a smaller hard drive. So I would suggest that you select what you want to copy. And, you know, ideally, you just want to copy a few games across. With me as well, I want to do that because, frankly, I don't want my boy playing games like Alien Isolation or Alan Wake for that matter. 
So what you want to do now is you go through and you look for games that you want to copy across. So if we go down, let's have a look what we got. Okay, so we got Bejeweled 2. Let's select that because that will be fairly safe for him to play. And if you look now across on the left hand side, you've got one item selected, 544.8 megabytes. So what you do now is you go on to Copy Selected and you press the A button on your controller and it will now show you this screen. You are about to copy one item from Xbox One to internal. Now, if I had an external hard drive set up for games and apps on this console, it would copy it to the external hard drive. So depending on what drive you've got set up as your default for games and apps will depend on where these games and apps are copied to. Hope that's clear. In this instance, my boy's only got the internal hard drive to copy to, so that's what we're going to copy to. So if I press the A button for copy, it'll begin the copy. And it shouldn't take too long. And if we just wait now, you can see it's building up its speed. It's coming down at around 40 megabytes per second. So it's actually pretty fast. And megabits, I should say, about 40 megabits per second. So it's coming down pretty fast. And what I'll do is I'll cut and I'll come back to this when it's finished installing and then we can go and have a look and see if it loads up. Okay, so it's now finished downloading from my downstairs Xbox and it's now available on this Xbox. So all we have to do now is just go in and check that it's actually there and it will play. So just click on it. And it's showing up. I've never played this game, so I don't know if it's any good or not. And as you can see, it's a 360 game and the Xbox is doing great guns with its backwards compatibility, but we won't go into that here. And there you go. Oh, PopCap Games. They're the same people who did the original Plants vs. Zombie game, I think. Welcome so, to be Jeweled 2. Oh, unlocked a game of picture for my boy. <laughs> I'm sure he wants that. So, let's just go in and say play the game. Just do classic. I'm not going to do this for very long. Uh, whatever, doesn't really matter. Go. Yep. As you can see, it's working perfectly. So, yeah, that's that. I'm going to go out of that now. I'm sure my boy won't be interested in that game, but you never know. His mum will. She loves games like this. But that's it. Basically, that's how you copy games from one Xbox to another on the same network. And it should save you some time downloading games from the Xbox network. Because, frankly, over your home network, it should come down a lot faster. So, yeah, that's that. Hopefully that was some use to you guys. And I'm done. Going to go and get myself a cup of tea as usual. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.